Oh, they did. Now, we are... cannot see what it is that they're feeding upon. My guess is a small antelope. A stembok. Okay, so they did. They managed to get a small stembok and... I think this poor stembok just actually got flushed by those first ones that started running. And you can see all of them feeding in there. And we were talking about the way that they feed compared to other animals. You see there's, there isn't as much aggression with some of the other individuals as sometimes we find in some of the other species. Now we've got these two that have gone running. Now they've stopped. So they're definitely on the move and on the hunt. Um, a little stembok is not going to be enough for all these nine wild dogs and they are just they <laughs> they have kept going would you see even when they make a kill even a small one at this one it just got devoured in just a few minutes i would say maybe one two at most three minutes and then they've pretty much uh, finished the steam book and then probably going to carry on looking for more food but how amazing is this wild dogs with a kill i haven't seen wild dogs eating something in quite a while quite a while because normally you see them going and running and oh there we go but not too often that you see them actually stopping by for a second to eat and off we go again Ooh. <sighs> Hannah you're wondering if wild dogs are similar to any other animals oh they're running running um sorry Hannah I'll be I'll get back to your question just I just want to see where they go. Hannah, you're wondering about their behavior and if it's similar to the one of any other animals. Um, they are quite unique in their social structure as well as their behavior. What we saw now of them just sharing the kill and it's quite a peaceful event. They're not fighting with other creatures. Even when we saw, for example, a few days ago, um, Shadow and her cub feeding on a kill. Shadow was not in the cub actually. Was not too happy to share the kill and it started growling and there was a bit of tension between mother and daughter and well known for fighting non-stop when they managed to get a kill or bring something down. So I think that's quite unique to, to wild dogs but in certain certain ways oh, they are very clever creatures and they oh, and they'll be somewhat like some of the other predators that we get around here in the sense that they are very opportunistic because they rely on their own senses and themselves to be able to survive. So the more successful they are as a pack, probably the better chance that they've got of living. All right, this road is very bumpy. I'm gonna try and carry on going around here, see if maybe we get another, another to my right. Ah, oh, there we go. Now they're coming back. Well spotted, VM. You guys are going crazy. Oh, oh, hello! But there's a lot more dogs now. You? Okay, well, just to add some puzzling behavior, this... This is not all the dogs we saw this morning. We counted about nine and now there are a lot more of them, which is quite strange. I wonder if maybe we don't have a pack that's been split up for a while, or perhaps even two packs. Hasn't been unheard of. Alright. Just trying to get out of here. What's a strange morning? Ooh. I love it. Alright, here we go. There they come back. What's happening, guys? <gasps> this is a lot of wild dogs. A lot of wild dogs. Oh, this is wonderful. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, this is... So, whatever it is that we were looking at was about half of was actually running like crazy here. <laughs> How cool is this? <laughs> now, <laughs> are you guys going to carry on running that way or are you going to come back? As they seem to be in a bit of a playful mood. Let me just turn around once more so that we can have another look at them. All right. Perhaps it is just one massive pack altogether and they actually did get spooked by the lions. Like we said, they were when we initially found them this morning, their behavior was a bit funny. And then Tristan finding the tracks of them uh, close to where the lions were could indicate that they all <laughs> met each other sometime last night. All right, let's go and have a look.
Tristan's theory is that perhaps the breakaway pack of three bumped into the pack of 13. Could be. I did count about 16 of them. So it would make sense. But um, let's just try and find them again. Oh, come. Okay. I don't know where Rex has gone, so let's try and get... Ooh. I'm gonna try and find them as quickly as possible. Ow. Where are you guys? Sorry, we are just trying to look for them, trying to see where they've gone off to, because I can't see them anymore. And there are some tracks here for another vehicle, so I think Rexon might be with them just a little bit further ahead down the road. So hopefully that will be the case, because they carried on. I see a vehicle, so I think maybe that is them. So let's, let's go. Oh, Wendy, you're being such a good girl today. Lots of running around. All right. All right, we are going to try and carry on trying to relocate. But while we do that, let's go over to Tristan and find out if he can tell us what's been happening during the night.